Patrick, how big was that birdie on 18 after kind of how the last four holes had kind of gone? Yeah, I thought it was big for momentum. Um, it was a nice putt to make, especially being kind of out of position on, on that hole. Um, and I'll take that momentum in tomorrow. I thought I rolled the ball on the greens just as good as the last couple of days. My speed was good, and a few putts went in today, which was nice. Um, and so I feel like I'm in a good spot going tomorrow, and that putt on 18 kind of put the momentum in the right, the right direction. On the, on the final round, how do, you, how do you process all the money that's at stake here, and how do you not let that interfere with your thinking down the stretch? Yeah, the, the internal um, drive to win golf tournaments is really what drives me. And so the external factors are not as much of a factor for me. I'm going to feel similar to how I feel most any Sunday when I'm coming down the stretch for a golf tournament because my drive to win is is strong inside me. And so the other stuff is just, just a consequence of that. And, you know, I don't play the game uh, to make money. I play the game because I want to win golf tournaments, and I love doing that. And I'm in a great spot to do that tomorrow. Patrick, um, do you enjoy the energy and the feeling of when a tournament turns late into a one-on-one -on -one duel? We're not there yet, but you know, generally, is that something you like? I think uh, every tournament feels a little different. Coming off last week, it was definitely you know a one-on-one -on -one duel. Yeah. Um, this tournament's not quite that. I guess what I, it does is it's something you enjoy. Yeah, I mean, I I enjoy pressure golf because it's everything I've practiced to do, yeah. and so. Getting in that moment is exactly why I practiced for all those hours growing up and uh, all those hours my whole life. And so getting to do it when it's important, I mean, that's exactly why I play golf. So I love it. Given that you've played a lot of golf with John in high-profile situations this year, what happened at the Memorial, does it feel like a rivalry at all between you, a competitive rivalry, a rivalry at all? I, I don't know if I feel like that. There's so many good players in this uh, generation, and no one seems to be overly dominant. Uh, at least we haven't seen someone like Tiger. I think growing up, you kind of think that someone's always going to be like on top of the game like that, and that's not the case. I feel like there's a lot of good players, uh, and I've had duels with, uh, it seems like a good amount of players in the top uh, five, top ten in the world this year. And so it's something I really enjoy, but I don't think about it. Um, as a rivalry, one person opposed to another. Is there anything about his game that you see that is similar to your game? Um, I think we're both very consistent, and I think we both hit it where we're looking a lot, and that's why we play well. Um, but I try not to compare myself to others. I don't, you know, I don't think it. I don't think it helps. I usually try to shore up any weaknesses in my game, and I did a good job of that this year. And I feel like I've been all around pretty solid. And that's shown the last three months. Patrick, you and you and John have been spending a lot of time together on the golf course. Tomorrow will be the 21st time you're paired together. Uh, how well are you getting to know each other? Yeah, we've played a lot of golf um, together the last two, three years. And um, considering he's the number one player in the world, I think that's a good thing for me. Um, and I think we've both seen each other play really good golf. And hopefully we both play well tomorrow. All right, thank you. Thank you.